it's Michael May. Welcome back to my channel. Wow. The amount of mental preparation it took me to be ready to film a swim try on. I'm not going to lie. We had to get our mental health in check. We had to get our body image in check. So when I last saw you guys, I was filming Abercrombie and I was feeling under the weather. You can probably hear my voice. It took me out over the weekend. I was just in bed all weekend. So now it's Monday. I think I saw you guys on like Thursday. So I'm still feeling a little rough, but man, it took me out over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little like bleh. So what I did last night to like get in the zone is I fully exfoliated, shaved and tanned my body. And you'll see when I have um, the suits on that I'm like, it gave me just like a little bit of glow. I'll show you the tanning products I use if you want me to. But um, yeah, I'm just like, I feel like every spring I get into this mode of like feeling ready for a glow up, like mentally, physically, spiritually, you name it. So I'm just like ready to like spring clean, kind of like vi revive my look, get a little bit of golden glow going, experiment with my makeup, like new swim. Like I'm kind of feeling like I'm ready to come out of my cocoon. I feel like I've been like hibernating all winter, which I think is important for us all to do. I think we all have seasons of expansion and seasons of contraction. And I, that's why like if for a reason, the world is in the rhythm of spring coming out. Like little babies are born and flowers bloom, etc. Like this is this is like the, the cycles of nature. And one thing I'm trying to remind myself of is that I am not a machine, I'm a human being and human beings are animals and a part of this earth and it's so normal to go through phases. So giving myself grace and that I haven't been feeling great in my body, which you all know, and I've just been trying to figure out like what is taking care of myself in a loving way look like for me. Um, and today we are trying on some suits with that mindset and just enjoying the fact that our bodies are carrying us to and from the beach and we get to enjoy all these beautiful things. And I'm trying to just be in each present moment and not see myself through the lens of how I think others might perceive me in said swimsuit, in said situation. So wearing things that bring me joy, feeling confident in the way that I feel and releasing the rest. So I would invite you to do the same. I know this time of year can be really triggering for so many of us that have ever dealt with body image issues or self worth issues or any of that revolving around swim season, body culture, all of diet culture, all of that. So yes, this is a safe place. If you feel like you want to try some stuff on, you can save this video and grab some suits. Uh, I hope that it motivates you to just get experimental. Today I'm trying on swimsuits from my dear friend. Her stage name is Gabby Fresh. Um, and so Gabby has this beautiful collection. Um, I'm sure you guys have all heard of her. She's an icon, a legend. She's the moment. And she's done swim collaborations with other brands before. The point is she has her own line now and I am first of all, just excited for all of us because it's kind of a big deal. Let me tell you why this is a big deal. Her swimsuits come in size extra small through 5X, just standard, every style. Um, she's in the past only done um, swim for plus size because that was like her niche and the brands that she collaborated with. Now, since she's doing her own brand, she has all sizes, which is so cool um, because my favorite thing is when I'll be at the pool and like a super like skinny girl will compliment me on my swimsuit or my outfit or whatever. And like for some reason, I'm just like, cause it is so hard to find things in my opinion that look as good or like feel good on me. Like, you know, you know the challenge. If you're here, you know the challenge. I don't have to tell you. So it's just like very cool to see a site like Revolve, which is known for like gravitating towards thinness, um, selling out in like 3X, 4X, like carrying up to 5X, like buying the full run, like to me, this is such a victory and so exciting, especially right now when a lot of people in the media, like everyone, like there's a lot of people losing weight, et cetera, and everyone should do what's right for their body. But we should, that shouldn't mean that we don't also have options for people that are existing in larger bodies. That's, you know, that's it. Everybody deserves access to the same fashion, et cetera, which is, as you know, one of the reasons why I started doing what I do here. So anyway, that was a long winded intro, but I want to just show you guys how gorgeous everything is like this is one of the one pieces like the hardware so stunning um this looks so beautiful on all the bodies that i've seen it on in all sizes and just like her hang tags just like the eye for details that she has like how gorgeous is like the tag for example and it's like this little like luggage tag with like the airline 
the La Fresca spring summer 2024. Everything is just so thoughtfully done. So I'm trying on as many styles as I can get my hands on. It is available at villafresca.com. It's available on Nordstrom, at Revolve, and at Anthropology. And I had to piece together an order from almost all of those stores to find my sizes because things were selling out. I heard they just restocked. So I'm hoping that if you guys watch this and you like what you see, you'll be able to get your hands on some of the sizes. And if not, hopefully like get an idea for your sizing. Um, I did hear that their straight sizing's running like about two sizes just for this first run, two sizes small. So like if you're like a size zero, you would need to order four. If you're a size six, you would wanna order like a 10, for example, but I heard the plus sizes run uh, more true to size. So I ordered a combination of 14, 16 and 18, 20, and I'm gonna try them all on for you. Let's do it. Ta-da, I did it. Here's the first one. Honestly, sometimes just getting into the first suit of swim season is what can like put you in the mood, you know? Um, this is gorgeous. I love this color. Like I am obsessed. It's so beautiful. Like I just feel like a goddess in this suit. I'm wearing a 1416 on top and an 1820 on bottom. I did buy a 1416 bottom too, which I might try on next. I just wasn't sure since I heard that sometimes they run small it, how it would fit on the bottom so i feel like this fits good but i almost feel like it would maybe be a little more snatching if i did one size down so i might try it but also i'm kind of happy with this um here's the back i haven't even looked at the back yet but i showed you first yeah i'm gonna come forward and show you guys like the detail like this gold hardware here is just so beautiful i'm just in love and you can take the straps off this if you want it to be a strapless bando um it does not have underwire of her line she'd had one tankini uh, which she like it's a sexy tankini she's like this is my take on a tankini I think there were only two suits that I didn't buy one came in two different colors it was a one piece and then one um, was the tankini style but that's the only one if you are looking for support she's known for having like bra like underwire and like full support if you've got a larger chest so I would recommend trying that one it's super sexy it's got like a swag I'll put a picture of it here it is so good um but yeah so this one doesn't have underwear but it feels plenty supportive obviously you have the option of the straps uh it also because this one also comes in hot pink which is so beautiful i'll show you every angle so that's how we do around here and i just think it's gorgeous oh i was gonna show you my tan i feel like it looks pretty good honestly um sparky helped me put it on last night because he's a real one he's like honestly the best i love him so much um, but I used this uh, for the first time. I used this Isle of Paradise medium self tanning oil mist. I was looking for one that had zero transfer. This had like a tiny bit of transfer on my sheets. It wasn't too bad, but I did wear like full length pajamas. It felt kind of weird on my skin because it's an oil, but it moisturized. Like I feel so like my skin feels so supple. Um, and it was a weird, like an oil mist was weird, but you just spray it on like water. And then I used a mitt to make sure it was just like spread all around. I don't have any major streaks. I think it just looks like a really natural glow. And then I use a San Tropez uh, self tan purity bronzing water for like a natural glowing face mist. And I really, oh, it had instructions on the inside. Cause last night I'm like, is this zero transfer? What's the deal? And here we go. They actually say it. Um, it doesn't promise no transfer, but you're supposed to do three to five pumps on your face and blend it in. And you can use it under or instead of makeup and it develops in 48 hours four to eight so i've slept with both of these and woke up and shower but anyway i was pretty happy um i'll probably continue to try different self tanning methods okay i have some big news i don't even know i haven't told you guys this i'm freaking flying to panama city tonight at 2 a.m i guess that's t tomorrow morning but whatever i'm leaving for the airport while it's still tonight have it packed obviously feeling sick feeling nervous but i'm going on the most exciting trip and i will continue to tell you about it during the rest of this haul but it's like a dream come true for me like something that i swear i manifested anyway and so i wanted to have like a light bronze going into that trip because it's gonna we're gonna be going through panama costa rica mexico etc um so anyway this is the self tanning i'm probably gonna bring a little self tanner lotion or maybe some tan drops to put into my lotion if i want to continue to develop a tan while i'm there um but i just thought i would share with you in case you wanted to know I'm trying on the 1416 bottoms now, and I at first I thought I liked them better because I feel like they feel a little bit more snatching, like they give me more structure and they're more comfortable because they're like holding me. But I also then noticed that this kind of pudges out a little bit, which is fine, it's a personal preference thing. But the other one laid completely flat because it was like a little big. So I think it just depends on where you carry your weight and what you want. Um, I'm definitely like a true 16 right now, so I feel like the 1820 gives me like room for this to kind of just be a little looser here so it's tough i can't decide because i like that this was sitting looser on the other but this feels more comfortable and snatching so 
it's tough to know but i think i'm gonna go with the other one just so i'm comfortable but if you guys have any major opinions do let me know the things she does to my body like how does she know to design swimwear that just does it all like this looks so good i love this i just love it i feel so good in this like i just feel like my confidence comes alive this is like the color of my aura like i'm obsessed it's so good like i tried okay so i tried on the 1820 before this i should have just shown you guys i felt like it was a little this part was a little loose and the boob part looked a little big and i like how this is really like holding me in nicely again i feel like i'm like right between the two sizes story of my life like this seam for this one falls ever so slightly in on my hips so i probably like right between but i think between sizes on this one i prefer this size because it just feels like it holds and snatches and does everything in all the right places again this has removable straps so if you want to do this as a strapless you can the back is just a nice plain like medium scoop it's definitely not like a low with like medium coverage here I'll show you the back and the side um i just feel so good in the suit like i feel like i just would be so confident just like living life in this suit i think it would be so cute with like trousers or like pants as like a little top like a bodysuit almost like with the cover-up stuff it's just so gorgeous i love it i'll sit back and show you this i just don't want to take it off i'm just like let's just spend the rest of our day in this suit you know and that's always a good sign again this is the 1416 um if you're debating between the two and you prefer more comfortable fit i would size up but if you prefer the more like lifted sculpted snatched uh supportive i would go down if youtube even allows this like i feel like i'm gonna get flagged for this it's so tiny um i mean not in the scheme of life but for me yes let's talk about what we like i love the beads on this i'm wearing a 14 16 top and a 1416 bottom when i ordered this they did not have availability in the 1820 bottom i'm tempted to go up to the 22 24 bottom like i just want this this like beading is like cutting into me which is totally fine it's, it's just like the coverage here that I feel like isn't enough. Like I feel more comfortable when it's pulled up here, but it shows parts of me that only my significant other should probably see. Um, it's just not, it's just not the coverage that makes me feel comfortable. And so I feel like very vulnerable being on camera with this even, but it is what it is. That's why we're here. So I might, I heard that they just restocked. So I might see if they have this in a size bigger. Cause I do like part of the thing for me is like if the beads were sitting like weren't as like cutting in i think i'd be more comfortable um and i'd be open to it um but i like i'm so in love with like the beadedness of it but again like our mantra is we don't have to force things to work we love what we love we keep what we love and if we don't love it we move on so yeah i just thought i'd show this i i think we do need to like let go of this idea that curvy plus size thick fat whatever you want to call yourself Okay, like we don't have to wear tankinis or one pieces or even high waisted. Like we're allowed to wear to show our belly button to wear like and I see so many girls do it and just look so sexy and so cute. I think I just feel vulnerable about this. And I think it's also just because this is just like not enough coverage in my actual pelvic region for me. I think I just feel like a little like I feel like I couldn't just like spread out or swim or have fun because I'd be afraid of like a lip slip. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't even know if that's going to be allowed on here, but it is what it is. Uh, so yes, here's how it actually looks. Please don't make me stay in this anymore. I'm just not super comfortable. But, you know, this is the thing. We're desensitizing ourselves to stuff. And, like, I can appreciate the curves of my body and understand that, like, whatever I'm comfortable with is all that matters. So I, I may try to size up in this and hope that it has, like, just a little more coverage throughout. But this is very cute i know a lot of people don't carry all their weight like in this area or they may have like less coverage needed i say go for it it's a gorgeous suit something that would be so hard to find in plus or curve in any other situation so i love the color i still think it's a gorgeous suit here is our next selection so this i can't remember if these bottoms just didn't come in my size that might have been the case or else i just didn't think that they were going to suit me it was probably both they're kind of more the style of the orange ones where they're kind of smaller but they had like just normal straps here and i don't know i was just kind of like meh like i could sense that like i just have a lot of a lot of business like real estate up here okay and i just like feel like i just feel more comfortable when i have coverage there so i was like okay what if i get the top because i got the cover up there's a really cute 
pants and like a little duster like as a full set with this and I wanted that moment but I just didn't think that those bottoms were gonna suit me and I think when I went to look they didn't even have them in my size so I felt like the universe was like okay let's get creative so I have these um bottoms these are from Airy last year um they're like a ribbed V they're fine I like them they're like a little loose like they don't really give like a snatching effect but they're also so comfortable and there are days that I just want to be comfortable when I'm in my swimsuit you know what I mean you know you know what I mean so I actually love this together actually honestly I feel like this isn't black and this is actually more of a navy in here that I like misread the lining is black um, so I can see the difference between that like deep blue and the black, but the bottoms have the cover up has black in it. So I just figured actually, oh, you know what? No, it is blue. I don't know. What well, doesn't matter. I feel like it looks fine together. I think it's actually super cute. So I like this. Um, I'm wearing a 14, 16 top. It's a little snug, but I do like the like the coverage and lift that it gives me. Uh, I think it's really cute. So totally could get this top and mix and match it with a plain solid color bottom in any of these colors or anything you wanted. That's just like the creativity and the leeway that we have with this stuff. Um, I do like a mix and match moment. Uh, but I did want to try on the cover up. So I got two cover ups. One goes with the next one piece that I'm trying on, but I'm going to show you guys this little pant duster set. So cute. I ordered these in a 14, 16 and an 1820. Just looking at it, the 14, 16 will look a little snug to me. So I kind of feel like I might just start with the 1820 actually. My thought with these pants is that they would be so cute with just like a white tank top. Um, or I could wear it with this bikini top as a set. I just could see myself getting so much use out of these on like a tropical trip because they're just like comfy, flowy, easy, cute. You don't have to worry about them getting wrinkled because you can just like fold them up in your bag. And I feel like I prefer them to be on the flowier side. Okay, so here's the 1820s, which actually low key are a little bit too big, I think actually. They just like don't stay up. So I think I was just afraid. Sometimes I get anxious about being in constrictive clothing. Emily knows this. I'll get stuck and I'll be like, eh. So I like, I've been finding myself, I don't know if you noticed the jean shorts and stuff. I'm ordering just like up a few sizes just to feel safe. And there's nothing wrong with that. But um, I'm going to go look in the mirror at these and I'll be right back. Yeah, I think that these are too big because they don't even stay up if I wanted them to. They just kind of droop here. So I think I am going to try on the 14, 16 and hope that there's not like a huge discrepancy. It's so strange. I find that I'm like right between two sizes. Like I'll be right between or sometimes like brands like I was looking at one the other day and there was like a two or th there was like a three or four inch gap between what their large and their extra large was or their extra large and their QXL. And I'm like, what is with that? Like why? Like who? There are a lot of people fit into that gap like and I was in that gap I was like weirdly between like the inches that they had listed for stuff okay so like see these are kind of snug but I think actually once I get them up they'll probably be fine all right I think that these fit better because the other ones just like hung so low but I'm not sure I need to like look at the length these are like cropped ish on me but I feel like they're probably supposed to be like not like full full length but like I need to look on the site so they also have this duster and I got this in a 14 16 I'm pretty sure I did yes and this is like the full look. So I just figured this would be so great for being able to like run from like the beach to dinner and like I could style this so many different ways. Um, I feel like these pants would be so cute. Like I said, with like a tank top or like a crop tee or something like this even, if I had like a little thing could be a wrap dress because it wraps like enough and it's really pretty. So I need a little mirror, see what I think. Oh yes. I just said to myself in the mirror, this is giving wealth. Like it just looks like an effortless like set. I'm not usually a duster girl. On principle, I have like a thing against dusters. And I think it's because I used to wear so many dusters when I was uncomfortable in my body and it was like what I would wear to hide. And it was like the only thing available in my size that I actually ever liked was like a fun duster with like fringe or like metallic or like something fun like they like for some reason like dusters were the only thing available for plus size people for a long time along with cold shoulders tell me i'm wrong uh so i have like a on principle i'm like anti-duster sorry for those of you that are duster girls but honestly i like the sleeves of these are very cool like i feel like the best version of myself wearing this this get up like oh, i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the cruise that i'm going on now it's honestly you guys something i swear i manifested i've told you guys but i did breathwork teacher training in January and I'm finishing up meditation teacher training now and I just truly love anything that has to do with mindfulness connecting to ourselves and our bodies like I'm really 
just enjoying learning more about it because those have been the tools that have helped me accept myself, accept my body, get through breakup, heal from childhood trauma, reparent myself. Like for me, they have been such invaluable tools that I wanted to learn more about it so that I could help myself more. And if it comes up that I help others too, that would be great. It'd be really fun. I could do like a self love little meditation or breathwork session for you guys here if that would be something you'd be open to or interested in. I feel like I'm very nervous around starting to teach. Like I feel like imposter syndrome and um, I just really enjoy learning too. I'm like, I just want to keep learning. So I don't, I don't know when and if that will happen. Um, I was actually asked to give like a short talk and possibly lead a meditation at something in a retreat this month. So we'll see if that happens. I did get a help facilitate, co-facilitate a breathwork session with my breathwork teacher um, last month, which was really cool. So I'm just being open to where the breadcrumbs of where the universe is leading me. But anyway, all that to say, this cruise is all based on doing like yoga, breathwork, meditation, journaling. So I very much could see myself having something like this on to do like a little meditation and then like go right to the pool. So like for me, this is really great. And it would also be so cute to like find a way to like belt this and like go to dinner. Like I just can see so much mileage with this three piece set. I'm in love with it. It's so hard to find ones. I think that look super elegant that actually fit. So I'm really excited about this. I guess I should show you guys like the whole, the whole front back side situation of this. I love the hardware on this one. But if I'm honest, I just got it because it matches the cover up, which is so cute. It's like, please set. You'll see it. I'll show it to you. So I got it because I felt like I'm a matching set girl. Okay. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm such a sucker for a set. Um, that being said, I don't love the way the suit fits me. And I'm kind of bummed because it's so gorgeous. But we're only keeping what we super love. And what I think I don't love is that I think I need a size up. So this is a 1416. Hardware is beautiful. Like love the colors. Um, but it's really tight in the back. If you can see, it's like making a little shape that I don't love. And it just feels like very, and that's on the loosest thing. So it's okay. I think like I would want to size up in this, but I don't think I love it enough on my body. And also like I only need so many suits. Because like as of now, I'm keeping three. I just don't think I need yet another, but I do want to try on this cover up because it looked so beautiful on the site. I'm going to grab it. Anyway, I'll show you every angle. I do think it's really pretty, but I don't know. Give me your thoughts. You have to feel confident in it. You know what I mean? I don't know. There's something about like so much coverage here. Like I like, I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just that it's maybe a little too tight. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I haven't touched her yet. She's soft as butter and light as a feather and fluffy as a cloud. Like what? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. I am in love. I got this in a 1416, which I think is gonna be perfect. But honestly, like it's so beautiful. Like this can be a dress. What I like, I'm really excited about this is that, uh, interesting, is there a seam? Where's the seam? There's a seam up the front. This could just be a dress or honestly, I could wear it with um, another, I feel like a baby blue swimsuit that I tried on for you guys last year. If you're curious about Monse Swim, um, I have a like a haul up from them like several, several, like over like late last summer, fall. Um, so I was thinking I could wear like that light blue swimsuit or it could just be a dress. Yeah, this is the perfect size. I wasn't sure about what size to get and also it's long enough, which like sweeping the floor. God, it feels so good on the body. I just love Plisse and this just looks so expensive i'm obsessed with the colors it's so beautiful i'm gonna grab the tie and see what it looks like with the tie this feels so good on the body this is the reason i want this is because i feel like especially like when we were in europe last summer or when i go to places that are really really hot and humid it is so hard to find things that i feel like are light and breathable and like i'm sure this isn't like breathable per se but it is so lightweight like it feels like i'm wearing nothing on the body and so like when you go to the beach and you want to have some coverage be able to feel like going elegant like going to dinner it's hard to find something that feels like very lightweight like i this is so light and that won't wrinkle that you can travel with etc so i think this is like super stunning i think it'd be really cute with that strapless swimsuit um from monty like the light blue one if i didn't want to wear it with this um because it doesn't always have to match you know but also i just think this would be super cute with just like as a dress I just really love it. I think it's so, I just love the colors and the pattern and I love the like really delicate plisse. Like it just looks like a dress that I found online that I wanted that was literally a thousand dollars and this was not a thousand dollars. So 
yeah i think it's beautiful i'm not sure about the way i tied this like you don't have to tie it at all you could belt it um but i do like a little definition at the waist but i just think it's really pretty it'd be a very convenient swim cover up for travel because all you have to do is twist it when you pack it and you don't have to worry about wrinkles and like i said it's actually you're gonna be able to breathe in it so i think this would be perfect for what i'm doing which is where i'm gonna need to have like versatile things that make me feel chic but also are practical lightweight etc so i think that this is gonna be like it's just so good i love it okay that was my swim haul and i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a little more optimistic about swim season now and i have you guys to thank for that because i would not have shown up to try all these things on if i didn't have your moral support so thank you uh it's really fun being back and doing this actually you guys closet clean out will be coming for those of you if you happen to find this haul and you're new here um i did a closet clean out series feel free to go start from the beginning if you want to do like a spring clean out with me i fell off the rails because of a long story that i don't need to reiterate here but i'm back baby and when i get back from my trip i'm gonna finish it out and then there'll be the full series if anyone wants to try it i think um i was thinking about doing a live but i think it'd be really fun to do like a spring cleaning challenge and like anyone who didn't finish or anybody who didn't start could revisit but I'm personally really excited to get my closet just in order. Obviously, like, I'm going to have to clean out the swim drawer because I have, like, so many suits from, like, years and years and years ago that, like, don't fit. I never liked have the tags on. Like, I, I want to be in a season of fewer, finer things. Like, I'll probably always have a lot of things in my closet because that's the way I am. Um, and I just, like, like, clothing is my art. It is my hobby. But I do think, like, everything in the closet should serve a purpose. And so I definitely have a lot of lingering things. Um, I have shirts to do, which is like quite a huge category for me, as well as like loungewear, swim, etc. Um, and I just want to love my closet. Like I should be doing these try-ons in my closet, not in the middle of my living room. You know what I mean? So that's our goal for the next few months. That would be such an exciting goal. I want to like manifest that. I want to all be in the energy together of you guys imagining you guys being like, oh my gosh, you're doing your first try-on from the closet and us all celebrating together because that's a goal of mine um, to kind of keep all my stuff contained in there because otherwise... If I showed you what I was looking at in my peripheral vision right now, it's wild and I can't believe that my fiance still wants to live with me. It's fine. But yes, I feel really optimistic about swim right now. I feel like there's a few other brands I'd want to try. If you are a curvy girl, um, I'm a size 16. My measurements are below and as they continue to shift or change, if they do, which they have the entire time I've been doing this, I've gone up, I've gone down. So, you know, we, we live with what we've got. Um, as they change, I'll continue to update them there. But uh, if there's any other brands that for swim that you're curious about or that you want me to try, I know there was like a few that I had in mind, but let me know. I would be so happy to be your little guinea pig over here, which I, again, I've said that before and I'm like, I feel bad for those guinea pigs. Like, I don't want to test them. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I just want to invite you to be gentle with yourself as you're heading into vacation or summer or seeing family or wedding season, anything that could be triggering around how you feel in your body, being seen in your body, um, that is not, it does not equate to your self-worth. And no matter how you feel about your body, you do deserve to wear things that you love and that you feel good in. And yeah, I just, we may not love our bodies every single day, but we can appreciate how they show up for us every single day, which is, oh my gosh, I've been doing this body scan meditation and it's so interesting to see which areas of my body I'm not actually comfortable spending time in. That has been a real eye-opener for me and very interesting how I just like dissociate and like go off on a trail of thinking when I don't want to spend time like in my stomach. It's just so interesting. So I would invite you to be gentle, spend time with your body, have a conversation with her. If you want to talk about like, body or self-love or tips around body acceptance i've had quite a journey around it myself i do have a video a while ago sharing about how i went from not being comfortable being seen in any way shape or form and wearing black head to toe and hiding from photos to literally modeling underwear and being seen in a daily basis in itty bitty bikinis etc and just learning to accept myself as i was and not waiting until i felt like i was worthy like aka losing weight to be happy so just leaving you with that today i hope you guys have a lovely weekend i hope this was helpful i'll put all the links below they've been selling out at certain stores so i might put links for multiple stores below and just keep watching because they have been restocking so let's hope and uh, as people are returning and things aren't working like you may also be able to snag your size so thanks so much for watching take good care of yourself you deserve it and stay tuned because i will be sharing about my trip which of these items i bring and style etc and i'll catch you guys on the next video Bye.